Well, hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to prepare and apply and complete the process of applying nanotechnology glass shielding. Now, this is not a polymer or silicon, it, uh, it's a long lasting nanotechnology, so it's not a DIY, uh, it's a high grade, high count nanotechnology from Germany. The shower's just over here, so come over and look. This is the shower we're going to do today. It's um, only been in place a short time, but if we have a close look at it, there's um, quite a bit of mineralization on this already, so it's starting to stain up already. So our job now is to prepare the surface, and um, if you just apply nanotechnology onto a glass surface like that, without preparing it properly, it will fail every time. Um, and most of the products out there don't have the correct steps involved in to prepare the surface. And in fact, most applicators that sell so-called shielding products, um, A, don't understand the technology behind preparing the surface properly, and they'll put the product on, it'll fail. So um, we're going to take you through the steps involved to correctly prepare it. So stand by, keep watching. Now this is the uh, de-stain and maintenance paste that you can purchase off the internet um, from us. It's not full strength restoration paste, so don't try and restore your shower if it's badly stained with this product, it won't do it. It's just a light de-stain and a pre-nanotechnology paste. So we're going to use this paste on that shower to prepare it. I'll show you how. Get yourself a bucket and blade, preferably a proper window cleaning blade. These are good quality brass handle blades that will last you a lifetime. And a good old window washer. And what we we'll do here is we're just going to wash and wet the surface down with the washer. Now remember there's got to be a bit of soap and water in here as well. Just follow your instructions. So you'll notice it's soaping up quite nicely there. Grab a little bit of de-stain paste. Bit on the old pad there. And um, just start rubbing. You'll notice it'll foam up. And what we want to do is just get it all across the surface of this glass. Now don't cut corners, don't just do a section that you think only needs done. You've got to do the whole panel, because remember this glass has been subjected to quite a bit of mineral and uh, splash zone covers pretty much the whole glass. Now I don't know if you can hear that, it's grabbing under the pad. <laughs> so you just keep rubbing until it just becomes smooth. And if you're unsure you can use your finger to just check under the glass and make sure all that staining's gone. It's all looking pretty good to me. Yeah, maybe a little bit more just there. And then the same thing on the other panel. We'll just go through and we'll do this whole shower. Then we'll wash the shower down and um, I'll come back to you. Okay guys, this shower's all prepped now, so we've de-stained it, we've taken all the mineral, silica, copper, lime, calcium, iron, the mineral etching that causes staining on glass, we removed that, pretty easy process, we've now prepped it using a solvent or ethanol, now remembering when you're prepping it, you've got to get right around the corners, don't just prep the flat surface, prep around these edges here as well, because you're going to have to apply nanotechnology onto those surfaces as well, remember to wrap them right around the edges, Okay, you don't get told this sort of stuff when you buy a DIY, but you need to make sure that you apply it properly. And being nanotechnology, of course, it doesn't sit on the surface like other sealers do. It locks itself into the glass, but you've still got to form a proper membrane. So just bear that in mind. So we're about ready to go now. We've got this glass completely prepared, and the stainless uh, all set to go. And we'll actually uh, shield that stainless for the customer as well. And let's get on to the uh, preparation side um, for nanotechnology.
The shower's now been nano protected and uh, all nano technology protected, nano coat, nano protect. And uh, we're just gonna let it sit there for about five minutes. It has gone off and it has bonded, but we're just gonna make sure, give it five minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll buff it. Now, what you need to do is just be aware that you've gotta wrap the product right around the edges, like I mentioned to you before. And you'll see looking up under it, it's quite misty. You see the sort of misty, misty sort of excess sort of look? That's a really, really good coating. And uh, you need to get that. It's a gel type substance. If it's a complete uh, clear substance that you're using, um, I would question what sort of quality you have. In fact, it wouldn't be anything near high count nanotechnology. So it's a misty uh, finish. We're going to buff that off using a, um, a damp, wetted microfiber cloth first, and then we'll finish with a dry cloth. Um, just be aware of the product you're putting on your glass. There are a lot of claims, there are a lot of promises out there. Uh, most companies come and go within a year or two. Um, make sure that they're going to be around to service an in-house or on-premise uh, warranty callback system uh, and check for the credibility as well. Uh, there are a lot of um, fly-by-nighters. This product here is um, our gel wipe. It's a uh, boosted nanotechnology recharge gel. Uh, we have had to devise this because of the hard water areas. So nanotechnology will work brilliantly, but it needs to be maintained and there are certain standards that you need to put into place. Nothing uh, strict, just basically uh, soap and water and a microfiber cloth. But the boost, uh, boosting gel is here as a, um, as a backup for um, both you and us. So we can apply the product in the warranty if you wish us to, technicians can do that. You get a boosting gel and that will actually push out uh, the period of uh, usable um, repellency. Uh, so just bear that in mind. And any further questions, please feel free to ring uh, the numbers on the website. Thanks for watching.